the town was bustling with life. Even at this late hour, perhaps the townspeople would have something interesting to share. Who the stranger? You're closer, even. Closer than you ever were. Come, find me. I've heard that voice before. It feels familiar somehow. I, I must have dreamt it. Had she, though? Well, it was impossible for me to confirm, since we narrators never got to see what's going on inside our characters' oh, dreams. <laughs> Third-person, omniscient up. narrator, no, my you eye. Shut you shut up first! You shut up! Oh, yeah? Yeah! You know what I ever say to that? No, and I don't want to! Shut up! Hey, Matty Dex here, card enthusiast of Living Store at your service. Salutations, even. I am the visionary. Time is never so linear. You told it to me once in a future long past. I have watched you for a very long time, and I knew you would come here, to me. This all seemed a bit unlikely to even. Ooh, maybe this strange, floaty person was lying. I mean, uh, probably he was. Please, you're not the only one who can see things even can't. <gasps> Never mind, even. I should not have addressed him. Time is short, so I will be uncharistically direct. I am one of the sacred card makers. There were five of us once. There are five still now. We used to make every type of card imaginable. Together, we cared for this part of random, this five tropolis, until the queen banned all dice, and with them the unleashing of creativity. Now we are bound to do the queen's bidding. With your dice, you have the power to defeat the queen and set things right. The rules that have strangled random for years must be erased, and true randomness must return. But... The future moves. Changes. You are a crisis, even, and an opportunity for both sides. I cannot see clearly through the rug weave, but I can tell you this. In order to defeat the Queen, you need a very special card. Find the other card makers, free them, and we will unite to make you a card that will shake the foundations of Sixtopia. We will make for you your dream card. Follow my vision to the second of the card makers, the painter. And take this. It might come in handy. This is. Uh, uh, are, are you sure you don't need this? A visionary does not need mere eyes to see more. Now go. I have interfered enough. <sighs> right. Visionary seemed credible, or even incredible. And yes, maybe he could see.
where defeat comes even to the gifted, and its unfamiliarity leads to wounds even deeper than those experienced by most. Powered by a mysterious darkness, the games grew too savage, with risks beyond anyone's control. And the day came when catastrophe would be postponed no longer. Dicey had set foot in five tropolis. Here, in the magical heart of random, was where the cards used to shape the very face of the world were made. But it had long since decayed into little more than a cold and dreary factory, used for purposes far less enchanting. Hmm. And I'm the king of freedom. Now leave me alone. I'm busy. Always busy. That's what they all say. No scram. Lesson well, because I'm only going to say this once. We can't win. You know why? Because the Queen has already won. That means we lose, kid. We lost, and we lose, and we keep losing until she decides she's tired of winning, which is never. Oh, I've seen your coin before. Convinced that you're different, oh, you're special, and that if you could just reach her, you'll fix it all. Heck, I've even helped. You know what happens? You lose hard, and I'm still trapped here, forced to paint mad inventions for the Queen instead of the magical cards I used to love. All that changes is that you die a little sooner than otherwise, and my heart breaks a little more, and I'm tired of it. So no, I'm not helping you. Now if you please, scram! Dicey? Oh, my! Where did you find that? This... this changes everything. A moment, love. There. Perfection. For what? Me painting your dream card? least I could do, child. Frankly, it was a joy to paint something other than a dreadful robot for once. Oh, there'll be heck to pay once the Queen finds out, but you're going to reach her before that happens, won't you? Ah, lovely. Your dream card, it's now off to the gluer. He's next in line. An old colleague and a card maker. Perhaps the most important of all. Is there anything else you'd like to know, love? I'm just a painter, love. I do my best work with a canvas and brush. And you've already gotten my best work in years. But I'll meet you when you need me most. And I'll add a few finishing touches to your dream card. You know, the visionary would know, but he's not the kiss and tell type. The rule master, perhaps, could tell you. As for me, I just care about the painting, love. 
Then go, love. The gluer awaits. Well, the painter had done all she could. Now, Evan was off to the gluer, who, and I'm going to go out on a limb here, might be in a sticky situation himself. Even found herself moving ever closer to the darkened heart of five Tropolis. Wherever the Glua was, he was... I just suddenly felt weirdly a alone. In a way I can't explain. If that makes sense. I'm lucky I have you. I feel like someone just walked over my grave. I've got a bad feeling, Dicey. The foolish girl was far from home. She knew she made a mistake. She felt like giving up forever. I don't know what it is, Dicey. I just feel odd. Tired all of a sudden. Yes, I'll sabotage. 
sabotage them. Okay, the candy is definitely gumming them up. And, ooh, they're staying down as I walk by. Perfect. Okay, now I'm in another clearing. I can go forwards or backwards. Okay, I'm doing it. I'm... and then we'll... No way! I can't stop my adventure now. Can you try finding another talkie thingy? Then you can help me more. Nah, it's great! We're having fun! Okay, bye even! They wouldn't. He was going to die. And they were going to die. And it was going to be much sooner than any of them expected. This is it. and jumping pips might be glad to be out of there. It took the others so long to send you, lamb. I've never been such a dreary... Mm, hold on a pip. That's a dice. Charmed, I'm sure. Now, I haven't seen a dice in ages. Does my heart good to see a live one out and about? It really does. And I'm glad to see you two have stuck together. Delightful. Look, I've been alone for a long time. Oh, you've come further than anyone has come before, Lamb. <gasps> then, then they've become the manufacturer of a card for you. Knock me down! <laughs> they have. Oh, indeed. So it shall, Lamb. I shall help you. <laughs> yes. Our last chance. Our last card. Our last heist. Let's do this. Oh, semantics, semantics. Come on, Lamb, don't ruin this for me. There's been precious little drama in my life of late. I need this. You'd be surprised how boring it is in a cell. Why, I'd be bored to death if I didn't have this glue secreting from my face to entertain me. Better not stick around, Lamb. The alchemist does not like to wait. Lately, these babies have just been carrying this, uh, this black goo coming from who my knows where. It's the will of the three headmasters, I tell you. The view was as beautiful as it was hopeless. And it underlined the one universal truth. 
Haven could never defeat the Queen. She'd soon attack the mountain with her breath and succeed. The card makers have given her a hopeless task. And the fools just be an effort. For even was a wish of a thing so weak, filled with so many little, little bones. She climbed higher, mirroring her own hubris, and knew in the depths of her soul that she would fall. Playing dice may be my biggest vice. Still take my advice. Kiss me before you toss them. Though I may have lost the coin. Have you found, have you seen my songbook? Hmm. Someone stole my book of songs, my beloved book of music is missing and I can't find it. If I could only have my songbook back, I'd be deeply grateful. <sighs> hint, hint. Hey, is this thing on? Anyone out there? Even, you're back. <laughs> Not yet. At, uh... At least I don't think so. I'm not in Two Town anymore. I think I'm someplace very old and sandy. Ugh, I don't like sand. Ah! Uh, there's a giant monster in front of me, and I think he's angry. Yep, he's definitely angry. Hey, even uh, what do I need to know about swashbuckling in like ten seconds or less? I won't even. I promise. Uh, wait. Heal? How? Uh, here goes. He wasn't. In fact, both Even and Bernie would soon be dead. Forgotten. Unmourned. Unloved. Their sad little lives amounted to nothing more than a footnote in a crater being's biography.
kid. It's you. Why, the one and only. Oh, and now, with my one and only son, too. Fiverr, meet. Well, actually, I never got your name, kid. Fiverr, meet even, I'm gonna stop the queen. Even, I'm gonna stop the queen. Meet Fiverr. Well, how'd you end up here, even? Oh, amazing! Me? Why, after the storm killed our ship, I landed in... Well, I don't know where exactly. Someplace strange, far below random. Before I knew it, I'd been sucked up by this tube, dumped outside Forberg, and had to sneak aboard four different craft before I landed on the one that brought me here. Hey... Is that why they call it Four Town, you think? Because everything there takes four tries? Maybe so. Maybe so. Even, do you know the Queen? Fiverr, don't be rude. Nobody knows the Queen. But she has a dice, and you said only the Queen has dice. Aye, that I did. Oh, but that's not true anymore, is it? <laughs> Hi, Dicey. He can talk? Dice are amazing. Have you really met the Queen? Like, for real met her? Amazing. Oh, son, she's joking. Nobody can take down the Queen. You don't say. It's good to see you again, even. Now, oh, I, I should have let you aboard sooner. I was afraid of losing what I had. And fear makes you behave like your worst self. But I see now it doesn't get you anywhere. Fear would have kept you in one croft, and kindness brought me back to my son. <laughs> you take care, even. Bye, even. Bye, talking dice! <laughs> Bye, even! Bye, talking dice! Even was never going to win, and she finally admitted that to herself. She already knew in her heart that her dreams were a lost cause. Oh, I feel sick, Dicey. You're right. I know you're right. But I just have this sudden inexplicable hey, is this thing on? dread. Anyone out there? You know? Hello? Even? Yeah, I sure did. I think I stepped on a trigger, and the monster disappeared under a humongous cube rock. Even, I'm somewhere new now. It's not like any place I've seen before. I don't know. There was a fall, even, and my string's gone now, too. But that's okay. I'm in a place where I'm surrounded by... Uh, hey, they look like dice, even. A whole valley full of them? Oh, great! <laughs> I'm glad, even. It's like you're here with me now. There's some monsters here, too. Robots and the like. I don't know what they want. You've always been so nice to me, even. But you don't need to watch out for me anymore. I got this. You've brought me here, and you've given me some fighting tips. And I'm ready. I'm ready to do this on my own. Thank you, Even. So much. You've helped me a lot, you know that? First when I got stuck in that spooky ribcage prison. Oh boy. Then, with this adventure? And I'm who I am now because of who you were with me. I can face the world and find my own destiny in it, thanks to you. 
And I'll never forget you, even. How could I? We're friends. And speaking of friends, there's a... here among all the others, and... I think it wants to be friends? Oh, hello. <laughs> What's your name? Well, I'm gonna name you Dr. Cube Pants. Do you like that? Despite the odds, and her manifest incompetence, even has somehow bumbled into helping Bernard escape his still inevitable death. For now. Trade it in for a new one with me. Hello? Alquist, uh, sir? Mum? Hello? I don't know, Dicey. It may have looked like even knew what she was doing, but it was all a bluff. And she was going to get mortally wounded any second now. Oh, oh thanks. I believe in you too, Dicey. There, little one. Can you talk? Have you seen an alchemist around here somewhere? I dare say I have, little one. Every time I look in a mirror... You're the alchemist! Indeed I am! And I'd have thought the visionary would have sent a more impressive champion than you! So old fashioned. I'm not impressed. There's a lot more to being a dice wielder than merely wielding dice. I don't suppose you've learned that yet. Oh, believe me, there's no right foot here. I don't suffer fools or children. You are both. Ah, let me tell you what I do here. I take raw materials, ingredients, tinctures, essences, and use them to enable cards to do what they must. These days, of course, the Queen has us only making her cards, and for that I need only metals. Those are supplied by the garbage shipped from one croft. Ah, you're a wanna. In that case, yes, they have. You and your family's whole purpose has been to supply the raw materials to build the very robots that subjugate the rest of random. Probably very depressing, even enraging, to find this out. All of you, made into unwitting collaborators of the Queen. Well, buck up. I shan't have you crying in my office. Now, I suppose you want me to make you a card to use in battle against said Queen. As a child, you probably want everything all at once, so please, try to focus on this. Well, you know the Queen dwells in Sixtopia, don't you? This respect you're showing is good. Continue to show it. So then you must also know that Sixtopia is cut off from the rest of Random. You can't get there from here, from anywhere. I know more than most. I know her history, I know what she's done, and I know she can't easily be stopped. What I don't know is why she's doing this. You don't do the amount of insane she's done in this world unless there's something you want, or something you're afraid of. I do not know what that is. I don't even know you! You're a little kid! I don't see why I should help you do anything! Your sister was taken by the Queen. Then your sister may no longer be recognizable as the woman she once was. And even if she is, she will not want to return. But as for the second half of your quest, it is noble, if impossible and foolish. And yet, and yet the others have helped you. 
The painter and gluer I could take or leave, but the visionary, he has earned my respect. And if he sees something in you that I don't, then I should trust his vision. Very well. I will help construct your card. Your so-called dream card. Please, you're a child. You dream of bedtime and sweets. I know all I need to. Now, step back. Ah, there it is. Perfect timing. Now, give me a lock of your hair. Ow! Please, magic and science, they both have their costs. Now we need something from your hometown. That is, we're surrounded by its garbage. I have a problem. And finally... Perfect! As always, I might add. Oh, your cart went that way! Now you need to follow it! What are you waiting for, a treat? Go! You'll get no lollies from me, child! The silly little girl was far from home, and she missed it terribly. She should turn around right now and give up. Oh, I really miss my parents, Dicey. I know, but, but I still miss them. remembered how she was bad at everything. She started to lose the fight right away. all of a sudden. Oh, Dicey, you're pretty great too. Thanks, buddy. You can do this! You're the best, remember? The best! You can do the impossible five times before breakfast. And then the queen asks for six. Even. Even. Yes! Every even roll gets a plus one bonus against every odd roll. That'll... Wait, no. That just turns all even rolls into odd rolls. Oh, never mind. Wait. Who are you? You're the one with the card, right? Even... something? The alchemist told me you'd be coming. 
And I'm sorry even with the card, but I've simply got too much to do to help you. <laughs> help me? Nobody can help me. The queen insists that everything I do for her be done by me personally. No subcontracting allowed. Look at this. New layouts for her twisted arenas. Do ASAP, of course. New mechanics for the battles due last week, assigned yesterday. Five. Five new robots with complementary battlebot attack structures! And you try telling the queen, or her bloody nanny, or even those deadly three heads, that they ask for the impossible! Ha! I may be an ancient mystic trained in the art of crazy rules more than anyone else in all of history, but even I'm not a god! I've come to accept that now. But does she care? Tell me, does she? Everything is important! <sighs> Look, your card has arrived in here somewhere, and I'll get to it when I can. Dream card? <sighs> Only the visionary would ever suggest we make a dream card. Hold on. What's that bloody cosmic potato come up with this time? Let's take a look at your card. Oh, perfect. Just perfect! As if I didn't have enough insanity on my plate already. Ooh, but then I do love a challenge. So, what the heck? I'll do it. When I'm done, I'm going to send the card to the highest point in all of five Tropolis, at the top of the giant chimney. None of this is reasonable! Reasonable died when the Queen stole the power of randomness! Up there, me and the other card makers will imbue the card with all our creative spark. But the ceremony cannot be interrupted! Even. Just meet us at the top of the smokestack. The card will be there. Assuming this works, you'll have bigger things to worry about real soon. Yes. No. Yes. There. I mean, I guess it could work. Well, what's done is done. Now hurry. I'll be right with you. Treason, treachery, perfidy. We even have sown the seeds of insurrection all around town. But now this vile, hateful creature is on her way to discover why she should have respected her equal. Even over here. The ceremony begins. There is others coming, friends. Lots of others. Mm, keep them back. We need to focus. Giles, cover us! To the end of this story, shall we? Oh, look at that! It says, even lost and died alone and unloved. The end. I've never seen an ending so accurate. And at the same time, also being so deeply, deeply satisfying. Coming, love. Oh, so how does it work? 
You can only use it in your dreams, child. I have to fall asleep? My dream card. Of course. All I need to do is sleep. Okay, even you can do this. It's like Uma taught you. Relax. Deep breath. The dread I've been feeling, it's gone. I don't know. Something's still missing. But Dicey, I know we're moving. Whoa. It's not like anything I've seen before. Oh, oh no. no. Okay, I don't think they spotted us. This doesn't look right. But it's got to be the place. The Grand Gate to Sixtopia. Huh? What? What happened here? I don't understand. Is this really it? Maybe this is like a fake Sixtopia. Meant to confuse invaders or something? I don't believe this. Sixtopia is supposed to be this whole wondrous place that grown-ups have been telling us about. This is a... What is going on? None of this makes sense. Oh, Stu! What mischief you got yourself into this time? Ha <laughs> It's classic Stu! <laughs> now, now, Annabelle, we use our polite words around others. Rem Good morning, lovelies! Good morning, Charles. Why don't you look handsome today? <laughs> oh, heck, I'm just the same old man I always was. But bless your heart for lying, lovelies. <laughs> oh, you're here too, Albert. Hey, ugly. I'm a big, stupid cardboard person. And I'm Charles' least favorite because I'm a mean, stupid idiot who falls apart all the time. Yes, yes, Albert. We're all familiar with your whole deal. Excuse me, uh, Charles? Ha <laughs> ha ha! We've been here for 60 years. You ought to know what's going on by now. Yeah, what gives? <laughs> Though, of course, not much actually does go on here. <laughs> you stand around and I fix you when you fall apart. Easy. Easy peasy. Of course you are, obviously. You're all real here. No, we're real. If we were fake, could my head fall off all the time? Oh, no, no, no! Don't you dare, Albert! I've had enough of that for today by far! 
Oh, what do you mean I'm not real? Oh, now look what you've done. You've hurt Bedelia's feelings. There, there, Bedelia. Oh, she says mean things. I know, I know. I'm going to talk to her about it, okay? But you're real. We're all real here. Alone? Ha! I'm surrounded by friends here. <laughs> There's Bedelia, Claude, Claude too, Snuggle Buns, Eight Ball, Big Tony, Little Tony, Average Tony, the hated Albert. <laughs> Boingy, boingy, peanut butter and jam. They're twins. <laughs> Don, Donner, Donnist, Don Ultimate, Don Penultimate, Don Ultra Penult, Don. Well, I don't need to tell you their names. We've all been here forever. <laughs> you, you, you don't talk like the others, do you? She sure doesn't. Should we be suspicious, Charles? I'm very suspicious. No, no, it's okay. <laughs> it's fine to be curious, lovelies. Eh? Yeah, my earliest memory. Hmm. It's when my head first fell off, 40 years ago. <sighs> no, it's when me and Pattacakes got married. Fifty years ago. <laughs> no. No. It was when I was young. Just... Just a child, really. The nanny came for me in that... That... That chariot that walked like a spider. She dropped me here. Told me my only task in life was to take care of these props. She said my fate was never... To be anything more than a forgotten janitor. And then she disappeared, and she never came back. And all I've done for every day of my life since then was live here alone, so profoundly alone, surrounded only by these, these parodies of life, mocking me every hour of every day with their ageless faces and painted on smiles and I... <laughs> <laughs> oh, so I thought. But then five years into it, y'all started talking to me and you've never stopped since. <laughs> and now you're an old man surrounded by friends who'll never die. Ha <laughs> ha, sure am, lovelies. <laughs> Ain't that a blessing? <laughs> Why, I must be the luckiest guy in the whole world. Woohoo! <laughs> The nanny? No, not in any way that counts. That's true. Her chariot goes by sometimes, but it only goes up to the tower. Up there. We hear nothing. How can they be so quiet? They're enjoying quiet fun times, Albert, and that's all I will hear on the subject. Then she's playing up in the tower all day long. How lucky. <laughs> uh, wait. Why would the Queen want the nanny to take one of us cardboard cutouts? It's never happened before. Maybe she isn't really a cardboard cutout like us. <laughs> no, she is. She's just lost her mind, that's all. I'm humoring her, see? <laughs> Tell me about your sister, lovely. <laughs> now, lovely, I learned long ago it's best not to make promises to yourself you can't keep. Now, where have I heard that name before? Oh, yes! Odd! The Queen graced us with her presence not too long past, and she had a girl with her. Odd, she called her. She wore a white mask, I remember. She looked strange. Strangely happy, yes, as are we all. <laughs> they didn't have time to acknowledge any of us, of course. She's very busy, but they went out that way. 
right through there. Oh, you're welcome. We all say thanks, don't we? We sure do. It's nice to get company. It's nice to see a new face. It's nice to be remembered at all. And hey, say hi to the queen for me. <laughs> Reminder I'm here. I'm still here. It's horrible. My glassy is made out of, I don't know, spare. Don't get it on you, buddy. This must be it. The tower. What's inside there, Dicey? I can just feel it. She ha- We've come so far, haven't we? But I still don't know for sure what you want me to do. Never mind. Trade it in for a new one with me. Oh, many dicks. I see. You get close to it, and it's like every bone in your body is warning you to keep away. The goo almost is like it's living or used to be alive. Razor stakes with a new card. Manny's got. Queen proved an effective general, and the war soon turned in her favor. Any remaining dice wielders who would not give up their companions were forced into exile, or worse. The Valley of the Dice hid itself from the Queen in fog, with its inhabitants and their power all but forgotten. Only the Queen's dark dice remained, all alone and all powerful. Seymour? Seymour! Is he... <laughs> You're alive! Oh, is that you even? I was just resting my eyes. <laughs> Seymour, your eyes. They didn't even make it about a number. 
They just took all three. I'm gonna get you out of here. <coughs> no, even you can't. There's too many. You'll never be able to. <laughs> what are you doing? Run! Careful, even. Tougher than I knew, even. How did you know Nanny Fortuna caught me? <laughs> Aren't you sweet, even? <laughs> Looking out for old Seymour, even in your sleep. She caught me in Forberg, captured me, tried to get me to talk about you, but I didn't tell them anything, even. Told them my name was Seymour, not Talkmore. <laughs> that's when. That's when she started taking my eyes. But what about you, even? I, I thought you were going home. W what made you change your mind? Realized what? That's the spirit, even. The queen. She's more powerful than you think. And from what I've overheard, your sister has changed. She won't be what you expect. Oh, I'm sorry, even. About all of this, we adults messed up the world and somehow it's been left to you to fix. A child sent to face off against the most twisted and dangerous being and random, and it, it's not right. I'm sorry I can't stop you, even. And I'm sorry I can't help. There is. Whatever's happened to your sister, I, I don't think it's gone all the way yet. Just be careful. There's nothing I can do to help you now, especially given my uh, current condition. Hello! Oh, oh! Thank you. Now, all we have to do is survive Nanny and the Queen and her minions, and we'll fix everything. Let's go! Hey, whoa. Seymour, you're you're in no condition to fight. You need to rest. Hey, I can't let you do it alone. I'm not alone. Seymour, when this is all over, there will always be a place for you in one town. I'd uh I'd like that even. I'm supposed to find someone here. Did you? Oh. I, I don't know, Dicey. But I know they're here somewhere. You can imprison my body. She was almost there. Almost there. <laughs> Even's narrator was so close, she just had to keep looking. Some part of Even knew her narrator was close. It was a feeling that went beyond. Even and her narrator were almost reunited. She was so Hello, close. Even. She was Do so dramatically me? close. For I remember you. Now, now, Even. We both know that's not true. You're probably wondering why I'm here, and not out there, picking my teeth with the bones of the disobedient. I suppose it makes no difference to tell you. The Queen hired me all those years ago to kill that meddlesome King of Freedom, and to start their war. 
What can I say? Our interests align. The Queen wanted to ensure his children would tear each other apart in the years and decades to come. And they did. I gave the Queen her endless war. I did brilliant work. Oh, but she played even me, you see. She promised me the people would fear the Shadow Man beyond reason. But they didn't. My rule was kept secret. And instead, they grew to fear war, their own deaths. And when I finally had enough, when I finally threatened to reveal the truth to everyone, well, here I am. No, no, you don't get to pity me. I'm terrifying. You're terrified of me. Say it! Say you're terrified! You... Don't pity me! In fact, no, I pity you! You hear me? I pity you! I pity you! Nobody pities me! Nobody! Nobody! My friend, thank you for the rescue. Now, I can get back to my job of narrating. <clears throat> the narrator said, narratively. Who are you? I mean, weird. Yeah, it's uh, you. There you are. Whoa, 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 wait. You can hear me? This is unprecedented. Ooh, but that doesn't mean it's bad. <laughs> Took the words right out of my mouth, little one. It was hard being alone. I felt like half a person, if that makes sense. <laughs> it would be strange if you didn't. I am your narrator, after all. Oh, but it is nice to know when one's work is appreciated. But you can hear me now, and we should make the most of that while we can. One never knows how long it will be until the old authorities reassert themselves. We've got a quest to finish, my friend, and I stand ready to describe it if you stand ready to live it. Let's. Now then, where were we? <clears throat> ah, yes. A girl, her dice and her narrator were reunited at last. Behind them, the wreckage of all that had stood in their way. Ahead of them, the queen and her minions. Even squared her shoulders and strode forward toward her destiny. No, oh, I thank you. This used to be a beautiful palace, a place of learning, of magic, of... Oh, yes, Dicey. It was also halls that once echoed with the laughter of children, were now still empty and desolate. Your house is... Oh, right. Except for even and her amazing friend Dicey, who was great, did you say? Who was, and I quote, great and awesome to the max.
dark crystals had appeared in the same age as the castle's fall. But they were not the cause of this destruction, merely an effect of it. There was something much darker here. Way to creep us out, Mr. Narrator. The remains of the castle were quiet, almost serene. But within them still dwelled a great power. Here goes nothing. This place. It is stunning, and it's been lived in recently. We're not alone here, Dicey. Well, the gate was locked, but where was the key? Even wasn't sure, and neither was Dicey. But. But they had the feeling. They could find what they sought if they looked below. Whoa, she has a fleet of these things. That's... Wait, Nanny Fortuna was coming. Quick, hide! Now, now! Hurry up, we you scrumptious little children! What does scrumptious mean, miss? It means keep walking and stop asking questions! The one who dies does not like to wait! Where did I put my keys? Not again! Gotta be here somewhere. The key even was looking for. She just knew it had to be here somewhere. Ugh, not your most helpful narration, bro. upper tower and face our destiny yeah you're not in any danger here well, even do you know what happens to a narrator if the person they're narrating dies um no me neither but i'm sure it's not good The two of them were the exact same ages as Even and Odd. Those masks. Uh, uh, yeah. The Queen's Throne. It is from here that the queen rules the fate of random with the roll of her dice. But where was she now? Forburg, a fallen city built on the ruins of its past self. Another insane system. She pulls us all into her crazy solutions until we forget how things used to be. And this was it, the point of no return. Whatever the end was, even and Dicey were going to meet it. Listen, Dicey, whatever happens next, I just want you to know. 
Look, I'm I'm not too good with uh, feelings and stuff, but I just want to say I've never become best friends with someone faster, and we've saved each other's lives countless times. And, uh, well, thank you, Dicey, for everything. <laughs> right, back at you, bud. Now, let's go kick that queen's evil butt together. Hiding, hiding. Is, uh, is over here good? Hard! Now then, children, inside that black dice is your ultimate destiny. <laughs> Well, if it isn't the one from one town, even was it? Poor girl, you've marched all this way alone, only to find your own end waiting for you. Only I'm not alone, Nanny, and it seems to me that the only end I've been marching towards is yours. <laughs> nice! Such impudence demands punishment! Uh, I suppose it is one's lot in life when one is a nanny to suffer doing someone else's hard work while they reap all the benefits. <laughs> Eventually, everyone leaves you behind, don't they? And any love they held for you it's temporary, transactional. <laughs> I did my job, child. I followed orders. And none of us would be in this mess now if you'd followed your parents' orders and stayed home. <laughs> when I come back. Such unearned confidence. You know, everyone is so quick to judge her. But the Queen really likes you, even. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a lot of that going around, child. You're not a popular person here. Now then, run along before you're too late. <laughs> I see. Are you seeing this? <laughs> Through that portal? You sure it's safe? <laughs> the opposite of reassuring, but okay. Those poor children. It's it's so much worse than I than I. Is the black goo coming from their heads? Their brains? The black dice is mining those poor children for their nightmares. Their darkest dreads, their most agonizing miseries. Coalescing them. The robots, 
the dark twisting of the arenas. All of it. It's all powered by those helpless kids. Nightmares. There are few things more powerful than unbridled fear. This place, it... Uh, it feeds on it. It's a sacrifice. Hey, even that's lucky, isn't it? That is her. She's still alive. Oh, then Arj didn't kill her after all. She might not be as far gone as I thought. Oh, Odd. I hope you're okay. Have my sacrifice has not been ample. Have you not long feasted on paranoia, bitterness, fear itself? Are you not satisfied? Have I not been good to you, my three lords? Since Guess that we're doing first this. moment of your summoning. You have given me power over randomness since we first began our exchange, and we have both found it profitable. But I have no heir, and I cannot let this great work falter. I beg you for just one more boon, just a taste of your power. dominion over chance itself with my successor just as i once did to you this child has proved she will please you just as i have she will keep up my end of the bargain so that you can keep up yours my dark lords i beseech you let my power be shared and i swear that two souls shall then worship you evermore Odd, step forward. There's no more time. No! Odd, don't do it! What? You! I fought across your entire twisted realm to stop you and to save my sister. And that's what I'm gonna do. Come on, Odd. We need to get out of here. Nobody's being held here, foolish even. Odd's free to go, if she chooses. So I should go with you now, even. Because why? You finally deigned to come see me? No, Odd, it wasn't like that. You need to... To what? To understand that my little sister, the one who's always had it so easy her entire one life, now thinks she knows what's best for me? Odd. Or maybe you're just jealous that I've grown up and of the power I'm about to receive. Is that it? She chose me, even. It is sad to see such pettiness embodied in someone so young. She's standing between you and your power. And remind me, Odd, what do we do to those who stand in our way? No. We destroy them, my queen. Ah, so we do. been so young, far too young to see that none of this is about what you want.
Sorry, that that mask. I I became so petty, so afraid, and oh, oh, even I hated myself. No, 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 Odd. I love you. I love you no matter what. Even. I'm weaker without her. Like everything good and strong in me is. <sighs> we'll help you, Odd. I've got some help. Ways. All I know is she hated me poking around it. Then I say it's our best chance. Let's go. You can't escape. This is my territory. Your story ends here, you urchins. I offer you 
offered you a kingdom and you chose the dirt? Come back here, you wretches! isn't it? The one I was to replace. She looks so sad, frozen at the moment of her death. You know nothing! Nothing! This is none of your business, and neither is that Finally see what happens when you embrace randomness. You die! Finally see what happens when you embrace randomness. You die. I'll always protect her, you fool. I'll never allow you or any other agents of randomness to hurt my sister. To let her go. No, no! I won't let you die! If she dies, then I failed, that all of this was futile. This whole world can burn for all I can, as long as she lives! <laughs> Alexandria, I... I'm not worth it. Shh, don't say that. Of 
cause you are. I love you. I love you. Please. It hurts. It hurts all the time. Even when time stops, it's still... <laughs> Let me go, sis. I, I can't wait for you here, but I promise I'll wait for you there. No, don't. Don't. We'll play again, okay? Just you and me? Natalia! Just you and me. Alexandra. You've saved random. That's plenty. Only I can save myself. Onward. Goodbye. Anywhere in random, we could end up lost. Nah. And as for what happened next, well, did you hear something? <laughs> 